From a hand with emotions to not blinking at all, let's start breaking down the rules that the cast members had to stick to in order to achieve those positive results. Jenna Ortega, who plays Wednesday Adams, is without a doubt the cast member who had more rules to stick to than the others. Every actress that portrayed Wednesday in the past had to put in a lot of work since it's a complex and emotionless character. The things they have to keep in mind just keep coming and never meet an end. And one thing that contributed to these never-ending demands was the perfectionist director, Tim Burton, who knew exactly what he wanted, including that he only wanted Jenna Ortega for the role of Wednesday and he wasn't willing to compromise. Luckily, Jenna accepted and she was willing to stick by the rules Tim laid out for her role. Despite the fact that those were pretty clear, Ortega wanted to feel the role closer to her and try to achieve that bond, and that's not so easy to do. Throughout the series, we see Wednesday doing all sorts of activities. Starting from playing the cello, fencing, and steering a boat, she had her hands pretty full. It's not surprising that she didn't know all of these things, but it took her months to fully comprehend them. Wednesday is seen to be her true self when she's playing her cello, and it just seems that that's the only time she feels calm. Despite the fact it appears that the melody she is playing on her cello is the one we hear, unfortunately, it's not. Even though Wednesday is seen playing the cello two times through the eight episodes, and she's not even playing the song that we hear, she had a lot of work to do to make that performance so convincing. Jenna had to attend cello lessons twice a week for approximately two months to make that cello performance so believable that we actually couldn't tell that it wasn't the melody. Other than this, we see Jenna in an incredible scene she shares with Bianca, who is portrayed by Joy Sunday. In the scene when Wednesday joins Nevermore and is trying to make a reputation for her name, she challenges Bianca in fencing. Undoubtedly, this is one of the most fun to watch scenes in the series because the costumes, the mask, and everything looks really cool. A little fun fact with those costumes is that it took 20 minutes to go to the bathroom. Anyways, regarding the scene, Ortega had her doubts and needed to train alongside Bianca for quite some time. Jenna mentioned, I honestly was so nervous about this part because I want to do her justice, so I went to fencing lessons twice a week. In the fighting scenes, or to put it differently, in combat, there are usually stunt doubles that shoot the scenes. But Jenna, with her preferences, didn't want a stunt double specifically for the combat scenes. She wanted to shoot them herself since she liked the process and the experience it came with, but of course, the directors didn't allow it since she easily could have gotten hurt. If you think we're done with the rules that our Wednesday had to stick around, you are totally wrong. Not only did she need to cut her own hair and learn the cello and fencing, but she also had to walk and talk like the emotionless character she represents. Starting with her posture, it was required that she walks with class and confidence. Adding to this later on, Jenna Ortega was asked to not move her hands while walking. And there's more. When Tim Burton noticed how well Wednesday achieved this great, confident, yet stiff posture, he realized that she has achieved something else too. Even though Jenna herself didn't notice what she had done, Tim paid very close attention to her gestures. In a scene, Jenna didn't blink for a long period of time, and maybe that was the key to really getting into that Wednesday look. After Tim Burton noticed, he asked her to not blink and maintain that sharp gaze. She mentioned, I remember Tim did not want me to have any expression or emotion at all. He wanted a flat surface. At some point during the first couple of weeks of shooting, I did a take where I did not blink at all, and Tim said, I don't want you to blink anymore. And after that, you can literally count how many times she accidentally blinked. First things first, she had to look like her, so the hair and makeup were there to save the day. Although it didn't take that much time to get her ready for shooting, Jenna had to do something crazy to have that iconic, cold, and mysterious look of Wednesday. It's known that in movies and shows, the actors use wigs, so it's easy to customize them to fit the character perfectly. However, on Wednesday, that wasn't the case at all. Jenna Ortega had to cut her own hair so it actually fit her in the best way possible. And it turns out that Burton loved this. We can see what a fantastic actress she is after seeing the work she put into the series and the requirements she had to follow. Despite all of these that we mentioned, Ortega had to learn German as well, even though it was just for a minute or less. She needed to sound very fluent and not mess that up. It's a relief to see that she wasn't the only one learning a new language or hobby to shoot for not more than just a minute. Xavier, who's played by Percy Hines White, had to learn how to paint even though that sequence was shown for less than five seconds. Luckily, he got to keep some of the paintings. Even though the actors had different struggles, they all bonded over their worries that they had about moving to Romania. Percy said that it was one of the hardest obstacles he ever encountered because it lasted for nearly eight months and it was the first time he had ever been on his own for so long. Moving on to Jenna's temporary stay in Romania to film the series, Jenna had to drastically change her lifestyle due to the different cultures and non 
various foods. In spite of the fact that she mentioned several times that she was a vegan, she had to stop due to the fact that vegan food was very hard to come by in Romania. Regarding this matter, she mentioned, I was vegan for a really long time, but I stopped vegan when I went to Romania. The food is very different there, and I don't think I was meeting my nutrition requirements. I started eating fish again, so I'm currently a pescatarian. We've explained what Jenna Ortega went through while filming Wednesday, and it looks quite hard. But do you know who had it more difficult? The Thing. Because as it turns out, Thing isn't created by any visual effects, but it's a real human hand. And behind it, it's played by Romanian magician Victor Dorobansu. It's really one of the hardest roles in the series, or in the world of television, because it is a great achievement to transmit emotions and personality through a hand. It seems easy when you first think about it, but when you take a look at what Victor had to go through, it will change your mind immediately. Let's start with the blue bodysuit that Victor had to put on every single day, because the rest of the body had to be removed since he's only a hand. And you might not consider the blue to be the worst case scenario until you discover that he had to hide his face as well. It was extremely difficult, so it got to the point where the costume designers had to cut one hole in the suit to allow him to breathe properly. Things activities just got worse with each episode because he had to film next to a wall, upside down, under the table, and inside the walls. But the most difficult scene came when Tim Burton requested to shoot underwater. He actually managed to do that and it turned out great. When Victor was asked about the most difficult scene he did, he said that it was in the first episode in Wednesday's room. He mentioned, They just made a hole under the bed for my body, and my hand was sticking through the mattress, and my head was like turning looking at the small monitor under there. It was very hard to breathe and keep it going, and my hand was going numb. Thing's appearance didn't fall all onto Victor's shoulders. Even though he had the hardest part, the makeup team had a lot of work to do too. Every day after Victor put on his blue bodysuit, the makeup team had to put on the prosthetics and the scars in the exact same position as they were in the first time. And for this, they had to take reference photos all the time from all sorts of angles. Another cast member who had some pretty heavy weights on her shoulders was Emma Myers, who portrayed Enid. Her bubbly personality, colorful clothes, K-pop fangirling, and her hair were all thanks to her. However, Emma had some difficulties transmitting the energy that Enid has, since in real life it ran out. She mentioned, It was challenging to have so much energy since Enid does, but it was worth it. Looking at the cast members' careers, Catherine Zeta-Jones, who portrays Morticia Adams, is one of the most successful and famous actresses to be on the set of Wednesday. Her estimated net worth is over $150 million, and she is extremely busy with projects of all kinds. One thing she had to face during the filming of this series was the schedule for the shooting days. And since Tim is known to be very strict, Catherine had to be on time every day. And that wasn't quite easy for her, but she somehow managed to find a balance. Who do you think had the hardest time sticking to all of these rules on the set of Wednesday. Let us know what you think and thank you for watching.